Okay, here we are again, uh, back with Windows 8 um, Enterprise Evaluation Copy. And today we're going to talk about the start um, screen. Uh, for some reason, I'm not sure why, Microsoft doesn't want, doesn't refer to it as Metro anymore. I don't know. So, this is the start screen, Metro. <laughs> and uh, this is pretty much the default. Now, I have two programs, Google Chrome and CCleaner. If I want to just, I don't want those, so I just right click on each one and say unpin, gone. Okay? And I can do the same, uh, I don't care about sports, Bing, travel, news, too depressing, finance, maps, I don't want to use right now. SkyDrive is cool. Weather, cal uh, calendar, sometimes. And I just got a glitch. Okay, unpin. Now that's a little easier. Now, if you like games um, or music or videos, you know, media, uh, you have to have a Microsoft account, and you have to be make sure your region is in your country, and hopefully uh, it'll sign you in. But uh, on <clears throat> in virtual machine, I don't have that. I I just I just created a, a local account. So again, I'm just gonna unpin these. Oh. The wonders of uh, photos are kind of neat. Here, let me just open one. See, it doesn't say app preview. And these are just the photos of the... Whatever's in, uh, I guess, wallpapers? I'm not sure where that is. But there's a whole bunch of pictures, library, SkyDrive, devices from, you know, your camera, Facebook, Flickr, etc. So, um, now I'm in this application, as they say. And I right-click. And uh, the function I can do is, as it said, import. So I don't need to do that, of course. If I hover over to the top left, that's a picture of the desktop. Oops, sorry, I don't need to go to... I click that. Now if I click here again, I want to close it? I just close. Now, another way to close the photo out, for example, is just wait for the hand, talk to the hand, and drag it down, and it's gone. You can go back to your desktop. Now you can also make this smaller. Make that smaller. And you get the idea, right? So if you want to make this really slim looking, streamlined, you can. There we go. So now I don't have to scroll anywhere. <laughs> and if I, an easy, it's a little cleaner now, in my opinion, anyway. Okay. Um, once you activate the desktop, if you notice one thing too, desktop is like another device actually. You can actually just close the desktop and you're back to start. Of course, you go back to desktop. Um, another thing I really uh, like about Windows 8 is the the search ability and the options you have is unbelievable. Um, there's a, some uh, keyboard shortcuts you can use. If you want to search just for applications you have installed on your computer, you just press the Windows key and Q. And that brings up a search for applications. If you want to search for files, you use the Windows key and F. So if you want something in your text documents, I don't have anything <laughs> right now in text, but that's an example or pictures or whatever. Okay. And obviously, again, settings is con um, not control. Um, Windows key and W, and that would be like power power options. What I want. So you can change this, change settings, just like in Windows 7 type of thing, Vista, if I remember correctly. So that's one way. So you have the wind wind key and the function. So wind key Q is apps, wind key W is settings, and the Windows key and F is for files. Okay, so now let's say if I don't have a program installed. Well, of course, I can go desktop, open up one, a browser that I have, or I could do this and go uh, say if I want. Um, well, I like using uh, on my desktop for videos is AVI DMUX, so AVI DEMUX. Obviously, it's not in my application settings or files, but I can u I can search in our Explorer, or I can open up in Bing. So let's just try Bing. And it just crashed. 
Oh, virtual machines are lots of fun, huh? Let's try it again. So, um, AVI, oops, AVI. Notice it defaults to applications when you uh, start ser searching. AVI DE, sorry, MUX, and we'll try it again. There it is, AVI DMUX on SourceForge.net. So you click that, that opens up the Internet Explorer Start Edition, oh, Metro Edition. Okay. And uh, speaking of which, just again, it's right click. It's just like it goes back to Windows 95, you know, the notion of right clicking and having another function. So this will bring up another, like a, you can add a new tab. Or you can go back to that tab. Just right click, that's all. And you right click in here. You can copy the address, etc. So, <clears throat> I was looking for um, AVI DMUX, and I can download it from SourceForge, and I want the 64 bit version, so hit SourceForge. And it usually gives the five, oh, there it is, and it asks me if I want to save or run. Well, I don't want to waste time downloading it, so I'll just say cancel. Okay, so again to close this is you can just drag it down. Another thing I thought was really neat is let's go to our charms menu, settings, uh, control panel, and programs here. This is where you can add remove programs. Let's go to default programs. Set your default programs, and we're gonna change it. Google Chrome to set as default, and now it's been set. Okay, so let's do another search for virtual dub, another uh, video manipulation program. Again, it's not in the settings or files that I don't have it. But look at this: I set Google Chrome as default. And you guessed it, it's going to open Google Chrome and it's going to do a Google search from within Metro for Virtual Dub. So let's go to virtualdub.org. Uh, let's go straight to Downloads. And again, it's on SourceForge. And you can look at the different releases and then you can click one and download it. Okay, um, so this is, so far it's, I'm not having, I can download files from within the Metro interface, I can search for files on the internet, my computer, I can have, change my settings from within this Metro-ish, whatever you want to call it, um, interface. And the store, it's kind of something interesting that I use on the main computer, is, uh oh. Apologies for the uh, virtual box mishaps. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, I forgot two things is I need a, a Microsoft account to download anything off the Microsoft store. But what I was uh, trying to get to was all my storage. And what's neat about this is uh, you can, as it says here, you can use SkyDrive, Dropbox, and a local, actually, account to uh, manage your storage and I have this on the main desktop and it works great I just uh, you can again if you're right clicking you can select files to upload or you can download files or whatever you want you can sync and stuff um, and it'll check your status so that's all I was gonna say um, but the store is pretty much useless on a virtual machine without a Microsoft account now you can create one if you wish but I just chose not to so that's what I was trying to get.